In this demonstration, we will be looking at CrowdScore, a feature that will fundamentally change the way customers interact with the Falcon platform. CrowdScore leverages the power of CrowdStrike's cloud-native platform to help companies address common challenges and be more effective in investigating and remediating incidents. To begin, let's look at the challenges that security organizations face today. First is alert fatigue. The sheer volume of alerts is overwhelming for many companies. This leaves analysts not only overworked, but also ineffective at finding and addressing the most critical incidents among the noise. Second is time to investigate. When an incident does merit closer attention, it requires time and resources. Reducing investigation time is critical to stopping incidents before they become breaches. Also, complex investigations require the attention of more experienced analysts, pulling them away from other responsibilities and projects. And finally, companies often find themselves working these complex individual incidents with no sense of the overall threat level facing the company. Being in a constant reaction mode prevents them from making more strategic security and resource decisions. To see how CrowdScore helps address these challenges, we will begin with alert fatigue. In this summary view, we see an active, real-time list of the incidents impacting our organization. Each incident is given a score to illustrate the level of criticality and help us prioritize efforts. With each of these, we can immediately see that alert fatigue is addressed by compiling related alerts into a single incident. As an example, the first incident with a score of 10 is actually comprised of 52 individual detections. Using the MITRE terminology, the incident-driven workflow provides a summary of the activities associated with the incident, as well as information about the impacted host and event timeline. If we look closer at a specific incident, there is also a detailed timeline view of the incident with additional information like username and command line details, as well as an option to edit the incident. This gives security teams the ability to update the status, assign the incident to an analyst, or add tags to help group and track incidents based on things like type and impact. Next, we will see how the CrowdScore engine provides the full context of the incident to help improve investigation times. The Incident Workbench automates the work involved in collecting the data needed to understand the scope of an emerging threat. From the timeline, we can open a graphical view of the incident. We can see that the attack started with Outlook, launching Microsoft Word, which ultimately led to PowerShell commands. The Incident Workbench also includes a replay feature. At the top of the screen, we can move through the total duration of the attack to see exactly what events have taken place at a given moment. The events in the graph below highlight in order as time advances. In the pane on the left, we have the option to add different overlays to the existing process tree. Options like threat injections and users help illustrate exactly what took place during the attack. The user overlay shows what user account was leveraged for every point in the incident. There are also options to see exactly what events involved network operations, disk operations, and DNS requests. For each event, you can get more details by hovering over the graph. Here we see a PowerShell command that was blocked due to encoded malicious payload. We can also expand an event to get more details. For this PowerShell command that is marked as malicious, we can see the complete command line, hash, and operations, as well as pivot to an event search. All of this context and visualization helps analysts quickly understand the attack. But CrowdScore also helps with response. Directly from this view, analysts can take action on the host in question by using network containment or connecting via real-time response. So far, we have seen how the CrowdScore engine helps analysts with incident management and fast response. It also provides an immediate indication of the current threat level to help organizations prioritize time and resources. Leveraging the power of the cloud-native platform, CrowdStrike is able to deliver a simple metric, the CrowdScore, which is designed to inform security leaders about their organization's overall real-time threat level. Along with the metric, there is a historical trend line as well as a summary of change over the last seven days. By establishing a baseline and monitoring trends, organizations can use this score not only for status reporting, 
but also to help make strategic decisions on security response and resource management, especially when threat levels are high. Here we see an example of how that metric might rise to a level that requires urgent attention and immediate action. In summary, consolidating alerts into prioritized incidents helps to streamline the triage process and bring focus to the most critical threats first. The Incident Workbench provides visualization and context to speed investigation and response times. With the organizational crowd score, security teams can get an immediate sense of the current threat level and take action accordingly. CrowdScore enables security teams to identify and respond to individual threats quickly and efficiently while empowering organizations with critical information about their overall threat level.